Welcome to a modern farming operation. I'd like to take you on a special tour and show you some of the great things being accomplished here. It doesn't always come easy. It takes a lot of hard work and a good amount of insight. I plan carefully, using the best management practices, chemistry, breeding, biotechnology, and microbial solutions. I look to the past with historical field data and to the future with technologies built on data science. These different methods are what give my corn, soybeans, and other crops their best shot at reaching maximum yield potential. Some call it a systems approach to farming. I call it good sense. Because in the end, it's all about giving this tiny seed, my biggest investment, the best chance to succeed. Once that seed goes in the ground, the real action begins. There's a lot going on down there. Just because I can't see it, doesn't mean I should ignore it. Insects, diseases, nematodes, and harmful fungi are all waiting to attack my seed's potential. Then there are nutrients bound up in the soil that my crops could make good use of, as well as beneficial fungi and bacteria that could give my crop a boost. But if I don't act, the threats will, and I'll miss out on potential benefits. That's why I rely on chemical and microbial seed applied solutions to work together for me and for my crop. Insecticides, nematicides, fungicides with enhanced disease control protect my seed from those yield robbing threats during the critical first 30 days and beyond. At the same time, microbes work in the soil to release bound nutrients, so they're more readily available to the plant. They're both important. With the seed protected from threats, the work that the microbes are doing can be even more impactful. And with the help of the microbes, the protected seed has a richer environment in which to thrive. As the seed grows roots and shoots, the benefits continue. There is so much potential inside of today's seeds. It's our job as farmers to give that potential a clear path to success, both below ground by protecting growing roots from the damaging effects of nematodes and harmful fungi, as well as insects like corn rootworms, and above by shielding crops from more yield robbing insects like bean leaf beetles and aphids plus cutworms. But it's also about harnessing the power of nature for good, using microbes for stronger root growth, increased nutrient uptake, and enhanced nodulation. Together, the chemical and microbial seed applied solutions I use give my crops the strong start they need. And this is just the beginning. As the season progresses and my crop grows, it's rewarding to see signs of a good harvest on its way. Root to leaf protection? I can see that right here. My crop emerged early, which turned into a healthy canopy. And you don't get green like this without abundant nutrient uptake. Looking at these stalks gives me peace of mind too. Strong stalks can withstand more stress, which is one less worry for me. And ultimately, these four and five bean pods tell me I'm doing something right. How we got to this moment is a long time in the making. From the beginning, farming has always been advancing, with every generation seeking new ways to have greater control over their fields and meet the demands of a growing world. From the mechanical revolution, where horsepower gave way to internal combustion, allowing us to work more land and produce higher yields with less labor. To the green revolution, with its expanded use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and carefully bred high yielding seed products, which help us produce more using less land, keeping millions from going hungry. To the biotech revolution and the development of biotech traits, as well as the specialized use of the herbicides and pesticides that accompany them, focusing new and existing technologies to help us generate even more yield per acre, leading to the systems approach to farming as we know it today. Given the advances we've made in the last hundred years, it's hard not to be optimistic about the future of farming. With the groundbreaking seed applied solutions available to us today and more on the horizon, we've truly entered the new frontier. One thing hasn't changed. If we're going to keep moving forward, we have to embrace innovation. That's why I always set aside a bit of land to try out new products, microbial and chemical seed applied solutions and traded seeds, especially if they've been tested in fields like mine and developed by a company I trust. As farmers, we've got a big challenge ahead of us, producing more sustainably 
so we can pass down our land and livelihood to the next generation. That's my hope for the future anyway. But I know I'm not the only one. Well, that wraps up the tour. Thanks for taking the time to visit my operation. If you'd like to learn more about what's possible, visit seedappliedsolutions.com.